In this video, we dive deep into the FNP-90, one of the most iconic submachine guns in the world. Whether you're a firearms enthusiast, a history buff, or just curious about military technology, this video covers 10 essential things you need to know about the FNP-90. From its unique design and innovative features to its role in military history and popular culture, we explore the key aspects that make the P90 stand out among other firearms. Discover its incredible versatility, caliber options, and the reasons behind its widespread use by various military and law enforcement agencies worldwide. Join us as we break down the specifications, functionality, and real-world applications of the FNP90, and see why it remains a favorite among tactical professionals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insightful content on firearms and military technology. The FNP-90 submachine gun is a weapon that looks like it's straight out of a science fiction story. Its unique and elegant design, which effortlessly captures the attention of anyone who sees it, is one of its most notable features. However, this weapon also has an excellent reputation due to its precision, innovative bullpup design, low recoil, and great ease of concealment and transport. Additionally, it is ideal for urban combat, which is commonly conducted in enclosed spaces. The FNP-90 is a submachine gun created to meet the needs and demands of modern combat. It is a weapon praised by special forces units from over 20 countries, which speaks to its great reliability and effectiveness. Despite its short time in service, it already has a significant history worth knowing. Sit back and get ready to learn 10 facts you need to know about the FNP-90 submachine gun. Let's begin. Like many other weapons, the FNP-90 arose from the need to modernize, specifically due to recent advances in the composition of bulletproof vests and the protection of lightly armored vehicles. In 1989, NATO published Document 296, which, in simple terms, was a request to replace its personal defense weapons, including a submachine gun and a pistol. For the submachine gun, NATO required four main characteristics. 1. The weapon had to be capable of penetrating modern bulletproof vests. 2. It had to weigh less than 3 kilograms with an ammunition capacity of no less than 20 rounds. 3. It had to be compact and comfortable enough to be transported without inconvenience by the user, whether on the battlefield or inside a vehicle. 4. It had to be effective in all environments and weather conditions. All of this sounded like the perfect weapon, and many skeptics and arms companies considered the creation of a weapon with such characteristics impossible without compromising some of the requested requirements. However, just a few months later, the prestigious arms company Fabrique Nationale de Herstel, FN Herstel, accepted the challenge and presented the design of a new submachine gun and a pistol that met all of NATO's requirements. Both weapons used 5, 7 by 28 mm ammunition, capable of penetrating armor without any problem. The pistol was the well-known 5-7, and the submachine gun was named Project 90, better known by its abbreviation P90. With no competitor on par, the P90 was officially adopted in 1994 as one of NATO's new personal defense weapons. We can talk quite a bit about FN Herstel, as it is one of the most recognized arms companies due to its advances in mechanisms and its renowned weapons, such as the FN FAL, the VALLISTA, or the FN 1910 pistol, with which Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife Sophie Chotek were assassinated. An event that triggered the start of World War I. FN Herstel is a company with over 120 years of activity that has successfully modernized its weaponry to meet the current needs of people and armies worldwide. The FNP-90 is a submachine gun operated by a blowback system and selective fire. This system revolutionized the traditional gas-operated recoil system used by many 20th-century weapons, such as the AK-47 or the FN FAL. It was developed by Fabrique Nationale de Herstel in Belgium, has a total length of 48 cm, and weighs 3 kg when loaded. It fires 5, 7 by 28 mm caliber ammunition, reaching a velocity of 715 meters per second, with an effective range of approximately 200 meters. Its rate of fire is 900 rounds per minute, and it incredibly uses removable 50-round magazines, making it one of the weapons with the highest storage capacity. 
Additionally, the FNP-90 has a bullpup design, meaning the magazine is mounted above the weapon and perpendicular to the barrel. The parts of the FNP-90 are made of the highest quality polymers, including the hammer, which allows it to maintain its lightness. The disassembly of the FNP-90 can be done in 10 seconds by trained personnel, dividing the weapon into four parts to facilitate its maintenance. Another curious fact is that, compared to the vast majority of weapons, the FNP-90 ejects the casings from the bottom of the weapon, primarily to avoid distracting the shooter. This versatile weapon has various variants in both automatic and semi-automatic modes. The most relevant are, P90TR. This model, also known as Flat Top, was introduced in early 2000. Unlike others, it has a triple-rail interface system for mounting various accessories. The top rail can accept various optical sights without the need for special tools. P90USG, manufactured especially for the US government, it is very similar to the standard model. However, the reflex sight is made of aluminum, has a different reticle, and two additional Picatinny rails on each side of the collimator base. P90LV and P90IR, introduced in late 1995, these models have integrated sights manufactured by LaserX Technologies. The P90LV model projects a visible 8 megawatt laser, intended to be used as an aid for shooting in low light conditions or as a deterrent. The P90IR model projects a 4.5 megawatt infrared laser, visible only with night vision equipment, perfect for night combat. In 2005, semi-automatic versions were introduced to the market, aimed at civilian shooters for personal protection and sporting use. Essentially, they are the same automatic versions but in semi-automatic mode. The P90 does not yet have a long service history like other weapons. However, it has already been active in many modern wars and conflicts, such as the Gulf War, the Afghanistan War, the Iraq War, the war against drug trafficking in Mexico, the conflict with guerrillas in Colombia, the 2011 Libyan War, and the conflict in Northern Mali. The P90 is ideal for counter-terrorism, rescue missions, VIP protection, personal defense, and special military operations. One of the most important was Operation Chavin de Huantar in Peru. On December 17, 1996, 14 members of the terrorist group MRTA took over the Japanese ambassador's residence during an event. The terrorists released some low-profile individuals, such as children and the elderly, but in the end, they had about 72 hostages, including high-ranking individuals such as chancellors, ministers, congress members, supreme court members, foreign diplomats, DIA officials, police officers, and army generals. The terrorists demanded the release of 400 MRTA members who were imprisoned for terrorism offenses. This crisis put the world's eyes on Peru. For several months, the hostages remained captive. It was risky to make tactical moves against the terrorists due to the presence of high-ranking political and military individuals, but national and international pressure quickly grew. In parallel with the kidnapping, elements of the army, special forces, and the Peruvian navy trained for a possible rescue. On April 22, 1997, after many negotiation attempts, lethal force was used. The Chavin de Huantar Commando was sent in, whose members killed the 14 terrorists using excellent surveillance and operation strategies. Only Magistrate Carlos Giusti died during the assault due to a severe leg wound. The other 71 hostages were rescued safe and sound. All the terrorists were equipped with bulletproof vests, but the commando primarily used P-90 submachine guns, which managed to penetrate the vests without any issues. The rate of fire, design, and precision had made the P-90 submachine gun the choice of special units in over 20 countries worldwide. These include the special units of the Federal Police and the Special Forces Group of the Belgian Army, the Joint Task Force II of Canada, the United States Secret Service, the Gendarmerie Nationale of France, the Austrian Rangers, the Dutch Special Operations Force, the Tactical Divers Group and the Scorpion Squad of Argentina, the Brazilian Boat, Army Squadrons, the GEO and UGI of Spain, Chilean Special Forces, the Special Forces and Presidential Guard of Colombia, the Special Forces of the Peruvian Navy, the Venezuelan Special Forces, and the Mexican Navy Special Forces, just to name a few. 
The P90 is a weapon made with very high quality materials. It is a very modern weapon that anyone would like to have in their arsenal. However, many will be disappointed by its price, as it is quite expensive. On average, an FNP90 costs between $1,500 and $2,500, depending on the model. To this, accessories such as laser devices, tactical flashlights, and sound suppressors must be added, as this weapon is very well designed to be loaded with accessories that facilitate its operation. In terms of video games and movies, the P90 submachine gun is a star and has been featured in recent years mainly because it is a very striking weapon for the audience. In cinema, it can be found in movies like The Hunger Games, District 13, The Incredible Hulk, Hitman, I, Robot, Blade 2, Taxi, and The Expendables. In video games, it can be found in titles like Counter-Strike, Army of Two, Splinter Cell, Battlefield, Metal Gear Solid, GoldenEye, Call of Duty, SOCOM, Fortnite, Rainbow Six, and Grand Theft Auto. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and activate the powerful notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, where there is great content every day. Without further ado, I wish you an excellent day.